And we are speaking with Joe Hill, the author of Horns. Welcome to Toronto. Uh, it's good to be here. It's great. Um, Horns' main character, Iggy Parrish, wakes up with horns on his head and begins a transformation into perhaps the devil. Who knows? What is, what is the figure of the devil in your fiction, and how does he act as a catalyst for both Iggy and the people around him? What does he bring out of others? Well, so so the story of Horns really is, as you said, it begins with Ig Parrish waking up one morning after being out all night drunk and raving and cursing God, and he looks in the mirror and he sees he has this pair of horns growing from his head. Um, and you know when you're growing a pair of horns uh, after a night of partying, you had too much fun the night before. But so, uh, you know, so Ig goes out searching for help, and he sees his doctor and priest and he goes to visit his parents. No one really wants to help him. They just want to make these horrifying confessions to him. They want to tell him their dirtiest secrets and, and ugliest impulses. And he discovers, he comes to believe that he's inherited all the powers and knowledge of the devil. And, uh, you know, I thought for a long time about what sort of, what sort of devil I wanted to write about. Um, because the devil has had a lot of different roles in fiction over the last 2,000 years. But finally I decided the devil I was most interested in is the devil as he appears in blues and rock and roll. You know, um, sure he's a bad guy, but he also rock and rolls all night, parties every day. And, uh, you know, he is, in rock and roll music, the devil always stands in for the temptation that you ought to hurry up and give in to. Mm -hmm. And finally, this film, is, sorry, this film, this, uh, no, this novel is very dramatic. It has, again, a lot of character to it. Is it a horror novel? I think it is. I, I think it is a horror novel, very much. Uh, but it's, it's a little bit of a... It's, you know, when, when people think about horror today, I think the first thing they imagine is the half-naked teenagers hanging from a meat hook. Um, but, but horror used to have a broader definition. Alfred Hitchcock was considered a horror director at the time. Now he seems too classy, and we look back and we say, oh, that was, he was directing thrillers, he was directing suspense. No, 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 no. Hitchcock was directing horror, and, and he was the master of these wrong man scenarios where a character would find himself isolated and cut off, and all the people he thought he could trust, it turns out, are working against him. And all the people he thought loved him don't really love him and are his enemies. And, uh, um, and even though Horns is very different from a Hitchcock type thing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a lot, for starters, it's a lot dirtier, um, it mm -hmm. is still basically the classic Hitchcockian wrong man scenario. Um, and that is, that I think that people feel tremendous sympathy and, and really lock into a character facing that kind of trouble and relate to them. And I think that all horror comes from sympathy. So, um, uh, yeah, it, it, Horns is definitely a horror novel. Thank you very much. Thanks.